The HeartMate battery charger is used to charge, test, and calibrate the 14-volt lithium-ion batteries. As previously mentioned, the charger can accommodate up to four batteries at one time. To set up the battery charger, place it on a flat, sturdy surface and inspect it for any signs of damage. Do not use a battery charger that appears to be damaged. Inspect the four battery charging pockets and make sure they are empty and free of dirt or debris. Also, make sure the metal contacts are not covered. Next, attach the power cord at the back of the charger and plug it into a grounded outlet that is not controlled by a light switch. Never use an adapter or power strip. Turn on the battery charger with the switch in the back. The front panel lights illuminate and the charger performs a 10-second self-test and then beeps once. Additional beep sound for each battery in a pocket. When the charger passes the self-test, the message HeartMate Charger appears on the display panel indicating that your battery charger is ready for use. If it does not pass the self-test or appears damaged or defective, contact your VAD coordinator or hospital contact person for assistance. To charge a battery, place it into a charging pocket with a power gauge on top and facing forward, aligning the arrow on the battery with the arrow on the charger. Never try to force a battery into a charging pocket. The battery charger confirms that the battery is properly placed with a beep and a pocket light. A yellow light illuminates while the charger performs a 10-second test to check the battery. If it remains yellow, it means that the battery is actively charging. In this case, simply leave it to continue charging. The light turns green when the battery is fully charged and ready for use. You may either remove it or leave it in the pocket until needed. Leaving charged batteries in the charger will not damage them. A red light, or no light at all, means that there is a problem with the battery or the charging pocket, or the metal terminals need to be cleaned. To fix this issue, first clean the battery terminals using a cotton swab or lint-free cloth that has been moistened with rubbing alcohol. After the alcohol is dried, reinsert the battery into the same pocket. If there is still a red light or no light, place the battery in a different pocket. If the same condition still persists, the battery is defective and should not be used. Obtain a new battery. If it appears that the pocket is defective, contact your VAD coordinator or hospital contact person. To check a battery's charge status, place it in a charging pocket and then press and release the number button for that pocket. The display panel shows the pocket number, the battery symbol, and the percentage of available charge. For example, here, the battery symbol is partially filled and the percentage of charge appears on the screen. Be aware that it is normal for the display screen to dim and then brighten on a continuous set cycle. The top of the battery charger also contains a fan that cools the unit. You may notice that this fan will adjust speed as the unit gets warmer or cooler. If the unit loses power, the display screen goes blank and the pocket lights turn off. Otherwise, there is no warning alarm to indicate loss of power. 